Welcome back everyone, this is Amanda All Day, back with another video, and in this video, I'll be doing an overview of Batman Fail Save Volume 1, the hardcover. I'll be talking about a little bit of story, the art, and of course, if it's worth your purchase or not. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on support channel, but to keep up today and want videos like this. So, let's take a look at front of the dust jacket, the spine, the back, and I'll show you a full spread image of the art. Now, I know there's two different variants of covers. There's this one, and there's is another one via the Barnes & Noble. So, there's a different cover. So, I'll see if I can find the image of the Barnes & Noble one. I have it here to the side somewhere. But, again, there's two different versions. They're the same exact book. The only difference is going to be the dust jacket. But, I personally prefer the Barnes & Noble. But, I got this one because it was, well, almost 50% off. So, that's that. Let's take a look at the front of the book. The spine. The back. Full spread image, which I really, really like. All right. Now let's take a look at what's inside. So what is this book about? So the book starts off with Batman being accused of murdering Penguin. Now don't worry, it's not a spoiler or anything. This happens like really early on within that first story or first issue. And then when that happens, a failsafe occurs or appears, I guess you can say. And so basically, failsafe is a robot that was designed by Batman to... Protect, I guess you can say, or in case something happens with Batman, he gets corrupted of some sort. The purpose of a failsafe was to actually get involved and prevent from Batman doing any damage to people. And story progresses, and failsafe has taken over the city of Gotham, and now Batman has to outsmart, outthink his own robot, his own creation that he created, that essentially is unstoppable. And that is like the main gist of the story. It's a pretty simple, straightforward story. But I really like it, man. I really, really, really dig the story. It's fun and exciting. There is one issue, one part that I'm kind of like, really? Which I'll talk about in a bit, though. But overall, though, I really, really dig the story. This is a fun, easy-to-read story for Batman. And again, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm sure you heard this before. One person creates a computer or software or something, and it backfires. And now this person has to outthink or outsmart this computer or some of whatever. Very simple, basic premise. But I got to say, I really dig it. And in the context of here in this book and how the story is written out, it's a lot of fun. And what I like about it, it's really, really cool to see how advanced this robot is because it's very similar to a, Ma a Mazo or Mazo where it adapts to its environment and there is a lot of fights in it I mean a lot of fights and you get a cameos from the Justice League of course the Bat family and it's just all out bra and just seeing how this robot that Bruce Wayne or Batman created that can really outsmart be one step ahead even the Justice League even the Bat family is really really cool and then the way it ends is kind of like, it's cool, but you just kind of, uh, I wish it just ended a little better. But it's not bad or anything. I really like the ending. I think the way it ended is really cool and creative, but it just kind of, I don't know, I wish it was something more. So that is a very simple premise of the book. Again, it's very simple, pretty straightforward. It does include two other like chapters or stories, I guess you can say. They're very, very short. One involves Catwoman, who is hired to track down the certain kids. And the camera say too much kills probably because it's really really short. And the other story is gonna be with Batman and Zer in oh, I always forget, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that particular character and it gives a little insight of who that character is. But for the most part though, the main story of failsafe is gonna be as mentioned the robot that has been activated because Batman's accused of killing Penguin and now Batman has to outthink a computer. And just seeing that progress of Batman adapting and trying to outsmart a computer that he created his own is actually really clever. And the cool thing is just, like I said, seeing the all out brawl back because this thing is fun. It's a lot of action. Unfortunately, the paper of it is matte, which I know from my understanding, this book came out in the comics of singles. They were matte, but uh, I think with this particular art, it should have been glossy because I think with the art on here and the colors, it would have been looked really, really, really cool and really, really nice. But it is what it is, though. The pacing of it, I would say it's average to above average. Obviously, when there's fight scenes going on like so, the pacing, definitely above average. But for the most part, I would say, yeah, it's above average. But above average. But in terms of like the actual story development, character development, yeah, those are about average. So you'll be perfectly fine. Do you need to have prior knowledge? 
Not at all. I just literally got this book because it was almost 50% off. I saw it was volume one, hardcover. I keep hearing about this story. The good thing and also a bad, which we'll talk about in a bit. And I agree. It's a really, really good story. But there's only one part that made me go, really? Like this, this, really? It lost my interest for a little bit. Now, if you don't know what I'm, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't do not want to know what I'm talking about, then I'll probably have a spoiler logo somewhere on there, and I'll talk about it for a few seconds. So it's not a lot, but and I'm not going to go into detail exactly what it is, but I'll just give you just like the gist of it so you can kind of get an idea. So you've been warned. I'll see if I can put a spoiler sim, uh, symbol or something on there. But then, anyway, so there's one part here where Batman's in outer space. Something happens, and he is basically falling down, per se, to Earth. And while he's doing that, he gets into the Earth's atmosphere, and you, as we all know, when you do that, you start heating up, you start burning up. Where it gets a little too much is how he has a regular bat suit. Batman has a regular bat, bat suit, right? He has a mask to cover if he can breathe. He has a regular bat suit, and yet when he enters the Earth's atmosphere, he's burning up, he's using the cape to protect himself, but he also uses his underwear as a mask. Okay, I'm sorry, but that part, I look, I get it. It's a comic book, suspension of disbelief. I get it. But that part is like, okay, come on now. Really, a regular bat suit can protect him getting into the Earth, Earth atmosphere and on top of that, land safely? Come on. Come on. That's a little too much. Even myself as a Batman fan, I'm like, okay, come on. I know Batman. It's badass. I know Batman's like three or four or five steps ahead, but really to the point where a regular bat suit, like I would understand maybe like an armored suit that could protect them. That makes more sense. But this is just a regular bat suit. And he uses underwear. I'm not even joking for you. He uses underwear for that. That part kind of like really, this is really how it's going to, really this is where, how far we've gone Batman now. He's almost invincible now. So, Okay, no more spoilers anymore, but that's the part that I'm kind of like, oh, really? But apart from that, though, I really enjoy the story, seeing the Justice League, seeing the Bat family, you know, interacting with each other and just all out trying to stop this android. It's just a lot of fun. And you get a cameo from a lot of characters. So overall, the, well, talk about the art. The art is fantastic, as I mentioned. The prior knowledge, no, you're perfect, perfectly fine. And yeah, that man, I can't say too much because I'll spoil it, but. Overall, though, what I think about it, definitely, definitely, easily, easily recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Simple premise, as mentioned, but the action scenes are fun. And just seeing the Bat family, Batman, as you can see right here, fighting this android. And the great thing about it is the android keeps adapting. So it's really, it's interesting to see how Batman is trying to adapt. And Batman tries to outsmart this computer, but yet the computer is fully aware that Batman is always going to attempt to outsmart him. So it keeps like it's fighting its own self, which is really, really cool and unique premise. And just seeing that played out, it's really fun. So overall, though, Batman's failsafe, hardcover volume one, easily, easily thumbs up for me. Definitely recommend getting this book and definitely recommend reading. It's a lot of fun. As I mentioned, you don't have to have part now. You can just get this book, read it and have a great time. So again, Batman failsafe volume one hardcover, easily thumbs up for me. Let me know what you guys think. Have you read this book? Do you plan on reading this book? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not support channel, put the key up today, and watch videos like this. Then close an overview of Batman Failsafe Volume 1, the hardcover, and on to the next one.